Disney has finally dropped a full trailer for Frozen 2. The sequel will focus on Elsa's search for the origin of her magical powers. Here are 12 details from the trailer you might have missed. The opening scene of the trailer shows Elsa battling against giant tidal waves. Thematically, it makes sense that Elsa has a complex relationship with the ocean. After all, her parents died in a sea storm. Her struggle against the waves may represent her effort to come to terms with and better understand her past. After being plunged under the waves, Elsa finds herself face to face with a water horse, staring at her with glowing blue eyes. The official film synopsis explains that this creature is a knock, a mythical water spirit that takes the form of a horse, who uses the power of the ocean to guard the secrets of the forest. These magical spirits figure prominently in Norse mythology, which is one of the major influences on Frozen. The existence of the trolls apparently isn't a secret anymore, since Grandpabby reveals himself to Elsa while other people are present in the background. Pabby's narration references a continuing theme from the last movie. The past is not what it seems. If his words sound familiar, it's because of a line in Let It Go, the hit song from the first movie. The past is in the past. But what does Pabby mean when he says the past is not what it seems? Does it have to do with the origin of Elsa's powers? Or are her parents not actually dead? Fans have speculated that one or both of Elsa's parents have their own powers that allowed them to survive the shipwreck, and that they sent the water horse as a message to indicate that they were still alive. That possibility adds an element of mystery to this shot, which shows Elsa and Anna's late mother, Queen Aduna. While we only see the back of her head, it's clear she's wearing the same outfit that she did in the first film. And her brown hair is styled in the exact same way. Both this trailer and the teaser released a few months back indicate that a significant part of the movie will take place during fall. The latest film poster also shows Anna and Elsa in the woods surrounded by fog and red leaves. Elsa's ice palace appears in this shot. At the end of Frozen, Marshmallow, the ice giant created by Elsa, is seen returning to the palace and crowning himself ruler. Since Marshmallow is now depicted as a benevolent being, perhaps Kristoff is headed there to seek out his help. Meanwhile, we see Anna traversing rough waters in a canoe made out of ice. She's traveling alongside the enchanted snowman Olaf, and is actually using his arm as an oar. As we saw in the first movie, Olaf's body parts are autonomous, so they can be broken off or moved around without hurting him. For years, fans have speculated that Frozen's sequel will introduce new characters who possess their own elemental or perhaps seasonal powers. The trailer includes imagery of the four elements, earth, fire, water, and air. Since Elsa can create ice and snow, her powers lie within the water element. Are there three additional characters whose powers correspond with each of the other elements? If so, whoever controls wind must have formed those giant waves that were overwhelming Elsa and someone else must have brought the fire that she tries to fight with ice. And for Earth, it remains to be seen what those powers would look like. If you look closely at the four stones, you'll see that a different elemental symbol is carved into each one. The carving on the left-hand pillar looks like a blooming flower, representing the Earth element. This carving is in the diamond-like shape of a snowflake or ice prism, symbolizing water. This one approximates the shape of a flame, symbolic, obviously, of fire. Finally, the right-hand carving shows what looks like a rock or round object above three parallel lines. Horizontal lines in parallel are often used to symbolize air. A matching set of symbols appears in another shot, which shows Elsa forming ice crystals in the sky. The same patterns were even more clear in the first teaser. Back in February, Josh Gad, who voices Olaf, tweeted that the poster included some major clues. It seems like he was hinting at the presence of those four symbols, etched into the snowflake design on the poster. So, did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments.